Guys, this is one of the most exciting developments I've seen in US battery materials processing, to be honest, in just US battery manufacturing in years. One of the most, probably a top 10. US, US engineers have discovered a way to make sodium ion batteries more energy dense than lithium ion phosphate. And this is big news for the US battery market. The US battery market, the US economy, it needs batteries in order to compete with China. This could save US battery manufacturing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Mike again. Guys, I'm with PowerShop for my EV charging electricity plan. You can get a $100 credit on your electricity bill. Plus, if you sign up with my referral link in the description below, you'll get an additional, that's $175 of credit to sign up to PowerShop. I use the EV day saver plan. And the reason is because for those two hours from 12 till 2 p.m. in the day, you get electricity completely free. So yeah, two hours a day, it's probably gonna cover your electricity bills for your EV every day. Basically, you can charge your, free, your EV for free on this plan. I'll put a link in the description below. Guys, I was about to go to bed because it's like 1 a.m. here, but I saw this story that I'd missed somehow. And this story is huge. A new tin anode has driven sodium ion batteries beyond lithium ion phosphate energy density. So I've been saying now for the last six months that sodium ion batteries are going to take over the world. And I mean, I believe they'll take around 70% market share within 10 years of global battery production, not just EV production, just global battery production period. This tin anode that US researchers from UC San Diego and Unigrid battery it's a big deal because it's going to mean that um, the US can potentially at least, at least Unigrid Battery could license this tech and manufacture these batteries themselves in the US. They've developed a new tin anode, which there is one drawback to it, and no one's talking about this drawback, but I'll tell you what that is, that delivers record-breaking energy density for sodium ion batteries, surpassing that of commercial lithium ion phosphate cells. Their simple yet powerful approach uses an almost pure tin electrode, 99.5%, to achieve 178 watt hours per kilogram and 417 watt hours per liter in full pouch cells. So that's a little bit higher than the new sodium ion batteries from CATL, right? That everyone's talking about the Nacon battery cell sodium cells. I've been talking about them because they're revolutionary, but this is even better. There is one downside though. Tin is not cheap. Sodium ion, sodium is very cheap and much cheaper than lithium. That's the reason why sodium batteries are the future. There's other reasons, including their cold weather performance, their longevity. They must last much longer than lithium ion phosphate batteries or any type of lithium batteries. But sodium ion batteries are gaining traction right now globally as a sustainable alternative to lithium iron. Their energy density though, well, until CATL's new battery has been well behind lithium ion phosphate. The anode material is often the limiting factor as conventional hard carbon stores only around 300 milliamp hours per gram. This restricts the overall cell capacity. To overcome this, the researchers have turned to tin, which can form high capacity alloys. While tin anodes are known to face challenges such as large volume expansion and electrolyte incompatibility, the team discovered that only minimal modification was actually required for stable cycling. So these, these tin anodes are actually 99% tin. So you don't actually need to do much to the tin to make these um, to make the, um, the anodes actually work. Only 0.25% of the anode is single-walled carbon nanotubes and 0.25% is binder. In other words, these anodes are just all tin with a tiny amount of single-walled carbon nanotube and a little bit of binder to bind the two materials together. That is enough to aid mixing and flexibility while relying on its own high conductivity to carry charge effectively. 
Batteriesnews.com says that paired with a sodium chromium oxide cathode, the pouch cells maintained around 90% capacity after 100 cycles with minimal resistance buildup. So that's a downside. 90% capacity after 100 cycles is not acceptable. They need to improve them. But it's a really good start. And it does suggest that tin is could be the answer to ultra high energy density sodium batteries. Microscopy revealed that the tin reorganized during cycling into a more uniform interconnected structure, promoting even sodium distribution and suppressing battery degradation. Now that 10% degradation could actually not be degradation. It might be something else. And it might be due to the fact of the way that they've made the cells. Of course, they weren't actually using a battery management system to prevent heat and other things like that. The study though shows that tin anodes could elevate sodium ion batteries to compete directly with today's leading battery technologies. But there is one other downside to tin, and that is it's actually very expensive. Now you wouldn't think so, right? Because tin roofs, they're very common, they're cheap, but they only use a small amount of tin, whereas these anodes use a lot of tin. And if you actually have a look at the price, Current price levels for tin are US $35,300 per metric ton. Now that's 35 US dollars per kilo. Battery grade lithium is around US $9,000 per metric ton. So, I mean, it's around a quarter of the price. Now, of course, these sodium batteries using tin for the cathode, they're not actually using tin for the anode. They're not actually going to be using any nickel or manganese or cobalt that does help to reduce the price but tin you know depending on how much tin you actually need for the anode is going to add cost to the battery so they're going to have to factor that in and figure out a way that they can potentially reduce the amount of tin needed because yeah as you can see it's it's fairly pricey when you look at an, an entire battery pack that tin is going to add up in price aside from the cost factor for the tin this does sound extremely promising. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.